Hey guys, and welcome to another lesson of Pro Teachers Noob. Today is our 49th lesson, and I have joining with me Bianca. How's it going, everybody? It's Pewter. No, it's not. It's me, Bianca. <laughs> and today we're following up on our Kevin Smith on the Green Arrow stuff with Kevin Smith's Batman work, both Cacophony and Widening Gyre. He has a lot of hits and misses, I see. <laughs> yep, definitely, definitely. But yeah, this, in fact, we're still waiting on the follow-up to Widening Gyre, which is going to end notoriously on a cliffhanger. Of course it is. So, but yeah, but Cacophony was a three-issue mini done in, in, 20, in 2009. Oh, not that long ago. Yep, definitely not that long ago. So, oh, one second. Just to make sure I don't keep on getting any no notification pop-ups. Okay, but yeah, this cover was done by Adam Kubert, but the normal interior artwork is done by his longtime friend and a guy you've seen pop up in his, um, many of his movies, Walt Flanagan. Did you ever see the first Clerks? No. Darn it. I still need to, I know. Is it on Hulu? Uh, let me check. Clerks Dreaming. Um, Paramount, actually. Ew. But anyway, but, um, Walt Flanagan, have you ever seen him in there? He was one of the men, he obviously had multiple roles in the first movie, but he's best known for being the, um, the, the egg guy, the guy trying to find the perfect dozen. <laughs> yeah. But, um, it opened up Arkham, Arkham Asylum, for, um, for the criminally insane. Following the events and recent nationwide economic crash as a cost-cutting measure, the board opted to discontinue security guards at the front gate. The rationale was nobody ever wants to break into Arkham. The board divvied up the 60,000 savings among themselves in year-end bonuses. Longtime front gate guard Sam Jennings and Roy Kelly were forced to look for work in the job market that, was, that has little use left for employees over 50. When his unemployment benefits ran out, Sam um, filed for government assistance. His wife, now forced to use food stamps at their neighborhood supermarket, regularly berates Sam for bringing her so low. Roy, however, <laughs> always the more industrious of the two, took out an ad in the Gossip Gazette personal section that ran every day for two months. Former Arkham security guard seeks employment or other, the listing read. 30 years experience in the world's most dangerous and most secure penal institution. Inquiries. Contact box 1145. Last week, he finally got the call he'd hoped for would eventually come. Two days ago, Roy sold 30 years worth of Arkham access code, shift details, four plans, and various other insider knowledge of the asylum for $20,000. Roy used his earnings to move to Baja, Mexico. He plans to open up beachfront, a beachfront moped rental operation and spend the process on booze and loose women for the remainder of his days. <laughs> Hello, Floyd. Joker. If I had known you were coming, I'd have done my hair, or at least put up and put on my merkin. I've got a green one and natch. The curtains have to match the drapes, as they say. They've got you locked up good and tight, huh? This is the same stuff they made the Pope mobile out of, I'm told. Only thicker. I miss the, the bars, but throw one measly piece of poo at a guard and so there's all bulletproof glass for our hero. Of course, the poo did have razor blades in it, but still. To so what do I owe the pleasure of this late night poppin'? I'm here to kill you, lappy boy. <laughs> well, and well, that'll save me from having to finish this knee slapper. The, the Fountainhead by Ann Ran. That's one of my favorites. I don't doubt it. Look, Floyd, I hate to be that guy at all, but you mind sharing me the reason you want to do me dirty? Nothing personal. Got a call two weeks ago from parents whose kids you killed, looking for some payback. At first, I was all set to turn them down, considering you're a pretty hard mark to reach. But I've got a soft spot for the parents of murdered children, being one myself. So I took the commission, even gave them a discount rate. So it is, I guess it is kind of personal. Uh, you're the proverbial whore with a heart of gold, Lloyd. You do know that I rarely kill children, right? This wasn't a kid, kid. 
high schooler got tweaked out on chuckles and threw himself off the cafeteria roof during lunch. Ken went from brown bagging and and, and, and it to body bagging it. <laughs> nice. But pray, uh, kid went from brown bagging it to body bagging it, huh? Nice. But pray tell, what's chuckles? Don't they let you read the papers in here? Just the comic section, except Family Circus. They take that strip out because it tends to rile up some of the more touchy inmates. The ones that like to touch children, I mean. You remember Maxi Zeus? Was that like Mary Worse? Because I never read the soap opera crap. For better or worse, grinds my gear too. It's not a comic. Maxi Zeus, the crime lord. Wait, you mean the lamest boss in the crime gossip underworld? That's the one. Well, he found an old cache of your Joker venom. Last time you put him away, and you got put away and started cutting it with ecstasy. Apparently, if you dilute the dosage, your points can give the great high. What? They call it chuckles on a kind of a giggly high, too, apparently. People love a drug that makes them stupid. Stuff cut on in the club first, then spread out to the suburbs. Side effects are pretty nasty, as you might imagine. Lockjaw, paranoia, psychosis. But when, uh, but when have done, uh, but when have dangerous side effects ever socked and stopped folks from doing drugs? It's become pretty popular, at least in Gotham. Last month's time, time called it the worst drug epidemic since the crack in the late '80s. That two-bit carpetbagger, he's ruining my good name. Good, Joker's venom's supposed to be feared, not rocked out a kegger. Now that is classic Joker right there. Guys making a fortune off of some poison you created. And what's bugging you the most is that people are getting an unhealthy kick from your poison now, instead of dropping dead instantly. With any consolation, some folks are overdoing chuck, over dosing and chuckles too. So, you know, you're still kind of racked up the body count. I'll kill him! <laughs> you are a comedian. Do me a solid and step away from the glass, please. I want I want you in one oh, piece okay. when I empty and empty two clips in your head. Uh, I'm hearing a bunch of noise in your end. That's me breathing. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting. <laughs> You're fine. Won't be needing the train. Trying to air out nostrils. <laughs> All right. Any last words, funny boy? Who the? Remember him? Uh, Anamanapia. Yep. Yeah, I like the new costume. Blam, 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 blam. <laughs> no prisoners <laughs> in six months, and now two in one night when it rains and pours. Come here, Clarabelle. <laughs> hey, Pistol Pete, I don't know who you are, but if my uh, guy hired you to ice this clown too, you can forget it. This is my commission, you hear me? Floyd, my toilet's on fire over there. Why are you? I'm going to take a peek and see where he's at. Blam. Damn! <laughs> uh, dead child's been shot dead! Russell, will you stop that? Christ almighty! Oh man, there's a murder of cops out there. You gotta give me a piece. Simple no would suffice. What's that? You want me to take it? Look, can you shut up for a second? I can't think with all your chatter. Ha! Tough crowd. Okay, I'll play along, Harpo. What's in the... Oh, my. Is this for me? Oh, I get it now. You've got one of those clown fetishes. Well, all right. But listen, Slappy, I bought them from the top, okay? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Don't ever, don't ever tell Tetch. Shh. That midget has been trying to get me and get me to do this for years now. And I told him I don't swing that. Huh? Hey, where'd you go? Seduce and abandoned. <laughs> and then we see uh, Zaz. I feel so dirty. I feel so dirty. Uh, on purity for release. He's, he's trying to get his mind together. Uh, uh, mind too cluttered. Gotta take my medicine. <laughs> the kid. Gotta do them next. But first, need, need to honor the dead with some marks. Just... Uh, should just snap his neck, this abomination. No room, no space left on the canvas of my flesh. Oh, better cut carefully. Oh! You know what that... that means, right? Uh, he's gonna kill the two people on the bed? They're already dead. Oh! 
No, he, he's trying to do his marks. You know how he does marks. But he's realizing the only place he has left is, um. well, notice he's not wearing anything. Oh, my God. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Cool. <laughs> As we said, better cut carefully. I should let him do it first, the sick and degenerate. Instead, I crash his ass as unholy Brits. Uh, I'm like, ah! Of all the, uh, the lunatics I spend all my life putting down, this one I hate the most. I'm like, shut, I'm shut the hell up. <laughs> Late yet again, I offer a silent apology to the victims I failed to protect from another media. Madmen. No, not just victims. People. Two people who somehow found in, like, like my parents. Oh no, parents. Children. No more marks than I'd say, as I swear. Fly away, Batman! You, and you hear me? Get out of here, or I send these kids to meet their parents. Mommy! I'm just fibbing to him, kid. I'll, I, I've got to kill you and your sister, only because I love you so much. This is all he's seen for a sec. Ah! All right. All right. <laughs> my heart breaks for the children. Two more innocents orphaned by Gossam's madness. Don't worry, kids. The monster can't hurt you now. Coming through! Make a hole! Zaz is rest restrained on the second floor. He'll require medical attention. See that he doesn't get it for at least an hour. The commissioner is looking for you, sir. He said to tell you, Code Green. Not again. Happened about an hour ago. No sign of him. We don't know how he got out yet. How many dead? That's the thing. Nobody's dead. Well, except one. We've got about a dozen guards and personnel shot up with tranquilizer darts and Deadshot's body. Body? Yeah, looks like somebody blew his brains out. Nearest we can figure out is Deadshot broke in to bust the clown out, and then the Joker turned on him. Where's Deadshot? They just loaded him in the meat wagon. Emmy tried to get his outfit off, but it's rigged with some kind of sealant. They're going to try to cut him, uh, cut him out of his costume at the, uh, at the morgue for the autopsy. Ugh. Lawton. Ah! You spooky! Looking for these? Now unlock your mask before I beat you into a coma. A bite activated locking mechanism. Interesting. Secondary armor beneath the Kevlar faceplate. Clever. The blood pack liner is a stroke of genius, but not nearly as innovative as the insulin costume that makes pulmonary functions and breathing. That masks it. All designed so you can play possum if you're shot. Score one for one. Uh, score another one for the great mouse detective. You got a cigarette? Why the hell did you do? And, and, and what the hell did you do, Lawton? Why did you break the joke out of Arkham? Wasn't there to break him out? I swear, I was hired to kill him by the father of some kid who OD'd on chuckles. Then this other guy showed up and started shooting at me. What other guy? I, I don't know. Never seen him before. He was another mass strapped with two desert eagles. And... And he, he got the drop on me and shot me in the head. That's all I know. I just figured the father hired both of us for the same job. And the other guy snapped when he found out I beat him to the Joker. Did he do it? Did he kill the clown? I hope so. Why have we stopped? I mean, chung, chung. Why have we stopped? We're not, you're not going to just let me go, are you? Hey, Bats! Aw, oh, nuts. No, Floyd. You have the right to remain silent. All right, then we see, now you know who Maxi Zeus is, right? He's a guy who usually believes himself to actually be Zeus. Oh, from the animated series. Yep. Behold the divine power of mighty Zeus. Is this your card? That was my card. <laughs> and that's about the extent of my godly powers now. So we've seen the end of the toga-wearing Maxi Zeus. Oh, yes. No more sandals for me. It's only $1,800 burla and burlets from here on out. Look, I get it. I've had some pretty public extended psychological breakdowns. I can't hide from the fact that every news station in town has footage of me running around looking like uh, Brad Pitt in Troy. But that's all <laughs> behind me now. Two years ago, I finally got the help I needed. I'm on prescription medi medication to stabilize my diagnosed bipolar disorder. The dementia is gone. Delusions are, of grandeur are, all, are gone. I pay my debt to society, so to speak. And now I just want to continue building the company I let slip away from me while I was battling mental illness. Maxi Zeus is dead. But Maximilian Zeus, the shipping ma magnet with a legitimate business, is very much alive and well. To which then they call him out on the chuckles um, epidemic, to which he claims like, oh, nothing to do with me. Um, but all of a sudden he gets, as he's going on this big type yeah. talking about how he's had the state of the art elementary school where his nephew even goes there. He then gets word of like, what are you crazy? I'm in the middle of 
Oh God, no. Oh, we're gonna have to cut this short, bits. Uh, so, um, uh, oh, uh, we still didn't get talked about Olympus and the uh, and what a hotspot has become. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. We've just had something come up that demands my immediate attention. Costas will show you out as they make their way there. I, uh, me, Eshkaz. I don't know what you're talking about, Maxi. It's Greek to me. <laughs> Please, Joker, don't hurt the kid. Oh, that's where it's coming from, the drug peddler. Look, at, run, run along now, little Aesop. I've got to have a word with your uncle. What's the big deal, you seeping oily goat lover? Now take it easy, Joker. I'm going to take it easy, own onuses, starting with your worthless bipolar hide. A man works his whole life to build a reputation for mayhem and murder. And then some two-bit wannabe hood with the worst gimmick this side of calendar man cheapens his best effort to leave behind a legacy. Oh, I know. I'll make another dopey designer drug to goof up the masses because nobody ever thought of something like that before. A doy! <laughs> <laughs> but what was the plan? What exactly did I do to and uh, did I say to you before they locked me up in Camp Hampy the last time? You asked me to randomly jokerize Gothamites on April 1st so that J po Batman would puzzle over whether you were at large or not and be forced to come um, to Arkham to see you. At which time, at which time you were going to say April Fools to him. Simple instructions, Maxie. Maxi. Very simple. Amygdala could have followed those instructions. But April Fools came and went. And guess what? I got no visit from the bat. Instead of doing like I asked, you went and turned yourself into Scarface. The Al Pacino Scarface, not the guy with the puppet. I, I, I know. And for ruining your April Fool's Day prank, I'm sorry. Truly. But Joker, come on. This is so much better. We've got an empire now with a, legit, with a legitimate face. And half of that is yours. Oh, Maxie. Maxie, Maxie, Maxie. Walk with me, my Slovaki, uh, Sol a slurping friend. I don't want an empire, buddy. Never did. All I want, all I ever wanted, is to have a good time and to annoy Batman whenever possible, of course. And to one day murder Batman and defile his carcass, sexually. And a pony. So all the money you're making off of my creation doesn't interest me. The power, the, go the glory, the legitimacy that seems to make you feel like such a big boy... I don't give a rat's ass about that stuff. So I guess what I'm saying is, we're no, well, we're not any. Uh, you're not my friend anymore. Which means <laughs> we're gonna have a gang war in our hands. <laughs> oh, Joker, you're a funny guy. <laughs> well, with all due respect, my old friend. You don't want to go to war with me. I'll crush you like a bug, and I'll crush you like a room full of unibrown school kids. I don't get it. Boom. <laughs> Get me, <laughs> Did you get me my toga? Well, why does he copy other noises? Onomatopoeia. That's why. So, when he hears a noise, he's just going to say it randomly just because? Yes, but as Kevin Smith once said... <laughs> That the it only works in a comic. It really doesn't work in live action or animation because you're just having that and he's saying it, but it's hard to tell if he's perfectly emulating it or not. Uh, unless you got a really good uh, sound what sound effect guy. I was gonna say that one actor who literally voices every single animal. Oh, and every Frank, single person, Frank Walker, or Frank, Frank Walker, or um, um, oh, what's his name? He does Perry the Platypus. Um, um, okay, I forget his name now. Um, ah, I know he played uh, Appa and he played Momo. D. Bradley and, Baker, uh, that's the guy, yeah, he's a, another good one. Just have him <laughs> do the yep. like, on a money people wear a mask, and he's just gonna voice over it, they'll never know. Yep, but um, we then see all uh, Joker. Oh, oh, oh! I gotta say, I really do like Walt Flanagan's artwork, don't you? He's really good. I really like this. Yeah. <laughs> I got and and you see that Maxi Zeus is starting to act like he's well Zeus again. But then oh, Batman man. comes in, saves them. I'm like, ooh, fiesta time! I got first dibs on the Biada. Give me all that yummy candy. Ugh! 
Uh, <laughs> run, yeah, bar, environment, uh, environment. Uh, yeah, I'll deal with you later. So much for the Greek gods, eh, Batsy? Me, I've always preferred the Norse gods myself. Especially Sor. Goof! <laughs> Ooh, the twins didn't <laughs> like that. I hate that stupid hammer. This gang war ends now. You're going back to Arkham, clown. That's Mr. Cloudy, you fun, funny boy. Crunch. Who? Da! Say it with me now. Super villain team up. Blam. A, a new lunatic. All places burning down around us, and this jackass wants to play. Ba-choom! This is how I play. Ba-choom! Blam, blam, blam. I've been counting your bullets with one gun down and no audible reloads. The next shot you ape is going to be... Or... They're running out of gimmicks and kinks, these idiots. Click pow. He'll have plenty of time to think of a new one in black, eh? Ah! He cut me. That bastard cut me. Swish. <laughs> oh, damn it, he's gone. Blood loss trying to get to me. Keep it together, Bruce. Grab the Joker and get out of here before the rest of the ceiling collapses. Gone. Eat it, emo boy. Big <laughs> If you ever wanted to triple the Wayne fortune, Master Bruce, all you need to do is invest in a um, suter, uh, um, suture manufacturer computer. Pull up the files on Stark City Mass, Mass John Doe. Another of Gossam's upstanding citizens. This one's not Gossam Ace. I don't know who he is. All I've got on him is that he tried to kill Connor Hawk, the second Green Arrow. Oh, hold on. And further proof that no leaguer should uh, no leaguer should ever let someone else assume their mantle. I'm sure Jean Paul Valley would be heartbroken to hear you say that, sir. Funny. He also killed two lesser known vigilantes in Pennsylvania. So someone uh, has a file on him then. That would include his identity, or at least a name. No, I put that together myself and myself when I matched the ballistics in the killings of Virgo and Buckeye to the to the slugs they pulled from Connor. How did you access the Connor Hawk slugs? I liberated them from Star City General shortly after the incident. You must def- you most definitely need a hobby, Master Bruce. So we're to assume then that the Joker is in collusion with this hero killer? I'm not sure. We could just view his son's appearance at the club as nothing more than a fortunate timing from what the Joker benefited. But if he matches the description Deadshot game fr- gave you from the Arkham break-in, and he stopped you from putting down the Joker this evening. We must surmise that the pair are working together, do we not? I've got another theory, Alfred. What do Virgo, Buckeye, Green Arrow, and I have in common? Minor psychosis and God complexes, sir? We're all non-meta-humans, committed to the fight for justice. If you harbor fantasy of hero killing, you ta- you'd have little hope of taking down Superman or Wonder Woman. But a normal person such as yourself, and but a normal person such as yourself, and I use the term normal very loosely, would make for a more convincible target. Exactly. Everyone knows that when the Joker's at large, I concentrate all my effort on apprehending him. So maybe breaking the Joker out of Arkham was the maniac's way of dangling bait. I want you to keep Tim as far away from this as possible, Alfred. Keep in the dark on this one, because if my theory is correct, I'm being hunted. The next night... Yeah, basically, he's all being all like... How, I ask of thee, how couldst thou allow this Greek tragedy to befall the mighty Zeus? The DJ was famous for wearing a mask, boss. Call me by my holy name, mortal. Oh, brother. The DJ was famous for wearing a mask, old mighty Zeus. When he was loading in at the club, the boys didn't think of anything, anything of it. A feeble, a fable thou offers me. We are entrenched in battle with the forces of Tartarus, and thou sinks not to unmask the fiend before he ascends Mount Olympus? Due, and due to thy carelessness, paradise lies in ruin. Why don't you? Ju- and why does doesn't thou use thy godly power to smite the, uh, the, uh, him? Then, jackass, what was that? Dost thou blaspheme me? I said, what's our next move, oh mighty Zeus? Had my. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, doesn't he mean the kraken? The kraken is a Norse mytholo- mythological freak and creep figure. Tito is the Greek version. But in Clash of the Titans, they made a lot of stuff for that movie, like the mechanical eye uh, and owl. Bubo's not real? Dude, none of that crap's real. Uh-huh. He brings in a whole bunch of um um what he claims to be um <laughs> virgins. To which is like, I gotta get him back into Sorazine. 
Come on, we're t and we're taking the boys out and turning over every rat hole in town till we find a Joker. But what about Maxie? He's fine. Guy, guy will grind his gears for a while and sleep till morning. Bill and Tom are on the balcony, so the place is covered. Man, four virgins at his beck and call all night. I want to be a crazy dude who thinks he's a god. Virgins don't charge by the hour, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Man and Batman. <clears throat> Um, they uh, they run out. He then injects them with um, the medication. Oh my! What happened? Where? Aesop! No! Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry about your nephew. I figured it was the shock of his murder that caused you to slip back into godhood. It was the Joker, Batman. He killed Aesop. He killed them all. All those children died because you invoked the wrath of madness incarnate, Zeus. Did you really think the Joker wouldn't care that you turned his venom into a designer drug? I had to rebuild my empire. I was broke, ruined, and I've done so much good with some of the profits. It's killing people, Zeus. Every overdose case is blood on your hands. <sighs> but this, this plague ends now, I swear. You're going to give me every piece of information you have on Chuckles. Every lab location, every dealer in your employ, everything. And you're going to jail for this. Not Arkham, Black Kate, for life. Yes, yes, I will, I promise. I deserve to be punished. It's all, it's all gone just so wrong. Poor little Aesop. Po yes, poor little Aesop. And in his memory, you're going to help me tonight, Zeus. You're going to help me catch his killer. So yeah, there, um, um, Joker, uh, well, after gunning a bunch of his guys down in anger, um, we then see um, Anamapia is back there with a, with a young woman, and she's there flirting, and then, what's that, a knife? Baby, I said kinkier, not scary. Put that. Oh. And uh, Max. Was that her blood? Yep, he killed her. Wait, so, so, when he has like intercourse, he says the noises too. No, 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 no. But um. But, How yeah. do you know? We did we okay, did you you're, okay, you're right, you're right. But anyway, Joe <laughs> comes on down. He's fairly predictable. Maxi <laughs> lousy sucker punching son of a do <laughs> oh it's like fighting a wind chime. How he ever got the drop on Jason, I'll never know. It's the same old move from his ancient playbook. I go sort of motion, then try some new material. No, ow, ow! You just and you just had to come after Maxi, didn't you? <laughs> uh, I knew your ego would trump what's left of your common sense. <laughs> you know where you could stick those fingers of yours? Why do I even waste my time with you anymore? You're such a joke. I should have let Robin handle you instead. Who are you kidding? You live for moments like this when we're at each other's throats. Who the hell would you ever be without your greatest foe? Nuts. <laughs> my greatest <laughs> foe? There was a time I considered you my second most dangerous enemy. But if you've gone soft, Cloud... Now be generous, generous to list you at number sixteen. You you could be you don't have to be so hurtful about it. Just being honest, you're not even clever or enough to see all the angles like you used to. If you were, you'd have figured out that neither your benefactor nor I have seen uh, uh, have I have seen you as a player this time around. You're just bait. Um, phase three, right on schedule. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and like I said, this was just a three issue mini. Hey, it's Blam Boy. Yo, Blammy, you caught me in, uh, and slip and slappy getting goofy. <laughs> Look at this book. Admiral Ernst, all uh, able uh, on Abe of the Clench Brown. I I'm one division. Wouldn't you love to see him drop the tuppy wuppy act just once and do something nice and normal, like work the window at a Dairy Queen? He just taunts him until he stabs him with some um, glass. Shoot him now! Shoot him now! Do a headshot. I make a total schmuck out of myself, playing it all. Ace of knaves, Harlequin of hate, old school. I even go as far as to let it and uh, to let Lurch think he's using me to get to you, and you don't even have the common decency to shoot him in the shoulder or the leg, so I can fire the kill shot myself. Uh, no offense, but you and me are through. Professionally, <laughs> like head head still ringing, but it'll pass. Legs killing me too, but it was worth it. Knew I could count on Joker to be the Joker. 
but I owe a <laughs> thanks to Floyd Lawton. I borrow Deadshot's helmet technology, the secondary armor beneath the Kevlar headpiece, the blood plaque liner for the Grand and Guin 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 effect. Hate to adopt one of their in in innovations, but hell, a good idea is a good idea. Like, and I just had another one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's official. I'm Glover, Circle Jerks, Mel, Bruden, Ruben, Bazy. This is the end of Lethal Weapon. Give him hell, Mel. I shut out the clown. I have punches up, just beats him out. Nothing to say now. Let me help you with that. Great, my guy's not Mel. Man alive, did I hitch my wagon to the wrong star. Or did I? See, Bat Bitten, I to it's like I told you when I was toasting club kids at Maxi's. It's super villain team up time. Firecracker, firecracker, sis boom ba. Back catcher, back catcher, rah rah rah. Go team! Die! Even no. I expected that. <laughs> Son of a bad man. Right, hold on, I've got you. Ooh, it kind of sings. It's a test. He wants to see what I'll do. Save the Joker or chase his killer. I know what I should do. I just can't. And I know I'm going to pay for it one day. <coughs> hey, what happened? Where is he? He's nicked his heart, Jim. Left a ventricle. Where's the other guy? The mass killer. He escaped. You're not going after him? I've got to deal with the Joker. What are you talking about? Jim, if I don't get him medical attention immediately, he'll die. I want everyone to stand down. Off this roof. Now. Are you crazy? Let him die. I can't, Jim. It was my idea to use him as bait. I got him stabbed. Good, Jim. Don't Jim me. He's a monster and you know it. He's a human being too. Are you Are you sure? Think of all the horror he's put Gotham through. What he did to Barbara. What he's done to you. Like, I know you live by a code. And I never ask you to break it. But I'm not asking you to kill him. I'm just asking you not to save him. You didn't do this. You didn't stab him. This is his doing. He made his choice. He can't make choices, Jim. He's insane. Insanity would have and would be keeping him alive so he can drop another building on another bunch of school kids. Do the right thing for him. And, and, and do the right thing here. For gossip's sake. For your sake. Let him go. Five months later. Gentlemen, I'm from the firm of Malone and Malone. We've been retained to represent the patient. I understand he came out of his coma this morning. As his attorney, I'm entitled to speak to him. Walks in. Low bats. Joker. I'm glad to see I'm glad to see you have in garage old disguise kit. Matches strikes again. Cute. I'm never finishing this book. To what do I owe this unexpected pleasure? Just checking up on you. Not sure I'm even here. They got me doped up on morphine, not to mention an ass load of mood stabilizers and antipsychotics. That's why I'm here. I couldn't pass up the chance to have a somewhat rational conversation with you. Or at least a conversation where you're not trying to poison me, hit me with that hammer, or feed me to killer fish. It's what I do. You remember when Luther led you and the other Hitler youth in hopes of destroying the League with a corporate takeover? There was a moment when the Martian telepathically ordered your thought patterns into something resembling brief state of sanity. Don't know what you're talking about, but I'm telling you right now, I can't take you seriously in that get up. I'm guessing your real face is in that briefcase. It is. Well, strap it on then. That mustache is creeping me out. So the last thing I remember was feeling all Whitney Houston in your arms while you, uh, while uh, uh, while the right Reverend Gordon about uh, uh, argued with the right Reverend Gordon about the merits of keeping me from slipping loose of this mortal coil. Naturally, if I had any strengths whatsoever, I'd have been your jugular while you were cradling me in your loving arms. But considering how it all worked out, I guess I should say thanks. You're welcome. Which brings me to my question. You've been running the same pattern for some time now. You do something horrible, I track you down, you fight me dirty, I take you back to and Arkham. My inner ear is so itchy. But during the, this rare opportunity of which you're not only physically restrained, but also momentarily psychologically balanced, I figured this is the best time to get some soul-searching truth out of you. So I'm here to ask you, do you really want me dead? Do you really want to kill me? I don't know. Let me roll over it a bit. Meantime, same <laughs> question applies to you, Spooky. You want to see me dead? I used to think I'd be okay with you dying or getting killed, so long as it wasn't by my hands or the hands of any of my associates. When you skydived onto the roof of, the, of Gotham Central, 
I fantasize about your suit malfunctioning and you pancaking under the curb somewhere in the middle of the city. But in the moment of truth, with that knife sticking out of your chest, I couldn't do it. I couldn't let you die. For all the true evils you've done, the lives you've ruined, and the pain you've inflicted, I couldn't just stand there and watch you bleed out. Even though I knew it meant giving up a kind of peace I ne have never known before. The kind of peace I'll never know. Why do you th and, wh and why do you think? Why not just enjoy the ultimate victory? I've watched people die before. I swore then never again. My whole life, all this, is all because I never want to see death firsthand again. Interesting. I always thought your misguided sense of self-righteousness came from some personal tragedy. I'm sorry for whatever it was that happened to you, which made you the way you are. But, but I do want to kill you. I've imagined that's hard to hear after you just opened yourself up to me like you did. I imagine in your head you saw this visit as a chance to work on the nature of our relationship. While I'm not temper while I'm temporarily not a frothing at the mount's raging lunatic, you probably saw this as it as a chance for a new beginning. But here's the cold hard truth, Bat. I don't hate you because I'm crazy. I'm crazy because I hate you. And your death, preferably but not necessarily by my hand will mean an end to my reign of terror and gossip. When you're gone, I'll stop hurting people, I don't know. I'll stop with the mayhem and murder. I'll lock myself up in a hospital and run out my clock staring at the walls, hopped up on premium-grade pharmaceuticals that leave me virtually lobotomized. They'll have to um, the catheterize and colostomize my holes to keep me from becoming a non-stop self-pissing and pooping mess. I can tell by your face that I've disappointed you. But you're a big, strong guy who's obviously familiar with disappointment and disillusionment. So I'm thinking you can handle this information. Yes, I want to kill you. And then, then we'll both finally be free. Since we're being so truthful, I should tell you that I saw a little bit of your junk when you were getting changed before. Ew. Well, I can't say I'm surprised by what the Joker said, Master Bruce. It's a little, it's little wonder he caught that glimpse, considering you were, you, know, you wear your briefs on the outside of your clothes, buddy. Well, I've always <laughs> dreamed of being a nightclub comic. So did he. And the clown's not going to stop till one of us is dead. Certainly this comes as no shock, Master Bruce. We eventually start then wondering about onomatopoeia, and this is where we find out. He has a normal family and kids and everything. And then in his own little room, he has a secret room. And turns out he's killed other heroes. No. And yeah, does he does he know there's no place he can hide? Is that the Black Power Stein? Where? Uh, there's a in the middle, in the second row. There's Brother Black, and it looks like a Black Fist, a Black Power Sign, on yeah. the right. Oh, oh, that's that's Brother Black. He has the black power side. I think I think that was intentional. Wow. <laughs> I was like, is that intentional? Is he black and his name oh, is? Oh, we don't know. He's dead. <clears throat> oh, I'll All never these know. he's killed. Uh, Yo, yeah, hero, that's true. Black Canary, um, and some other heroes, including Batman. Missed. <laughs> so, what did you think of that one? While I get the other one ready. That was actually uh, a lot better than any of the other Kevin Smith stuff uh, we saw. Yeah. Was that the only yeah. Kevin Smith stuff we, nope. we saw? Oh, yeah, yeah. The Green Arrow one's the only one we've done so far. Gosh dang, I feel like I've been... I don't know. I did, green, I did Green Hornet with my friend Eric. Nah, that was probably the other one. Yeah. That one wasn't as bad either. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was very good. What the heck is that? Is well, that a I mean, werewolf? Try no, 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 no. You have a wolf face, and then you have a horse head, and then you have Batman. It's just a, it's just a regular wolf face. Boo. So, yeah, this is Whining Giant. We open up um, during a, a Jewish Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur. But as it's going on, they're being attacked by um, um, Baron Blitzkrieg and... Um, I forget who the other guy... Oh the, oh, the Atomic Skull, but the original Atomic Skull, and... Oh man, the poor rabbi got killed. Oh. But yep, um, they're fighting them all off, and then Robin shows up. Not sure what he's saying. Uh, 
but when he, after he does it, today I am a man. You okay, old chum? If this redneck Nazi blows my head off, tell Barbara she was wrong about me and Corey. What? Uh, tell Barbara it was always her above any of them. Well, it looks like Kevin Smith is a fan of um, Dick and Babs. Boo. And, <laughs> Just yeah, kidding. Course, yeah, I, I like know. both pairings. I but know. that's kind of mean, though. <laughs> right now, you're probably wondering why I called you in on this. Right. Do I And do I know you or do I know you? Dr and drop it or I shatter your jaw. You got Batman. We got Batman out here among the mother freaking Batman. Whatever you're doing back there, do it. The war began. Arya and the army assemble. It's okay to smile, Squidward. I make you <laughs> look up the reference and then lead the charge. <laughs> Batman has no idea about SpongeBob. What a loser. <laughs> Am I but right? They, they, fight, they fight. They take him down easily because this guy doesn't know how to use the suit. And again, today I am a man. Come on, man. Not even a golf clap for all this. I mean, I know in Gotham you get you get a lot of repeat customers, okay? But how many times does a guy ever get to square off against a colossal turd like Baron Blitzkrieg? Um, plus, you know, he's one of the first conscience I ever took down all by myself. If there's nothing else, I should get back to the city. Don't worry, I remember. Smiling's for Superman. Keep it spooky, aloof, and professional then. Can you look at something before you go? Some kid and kid ha kids having a kegger found him in the rushes over at Snake Lake when I heard about him. So I did, thought of you immediately. Names and the big name is Gavin Adam. He was a psych major at Blood Have Even Med. I called and they said she's been in lockdown for the last year. Said it's another six uh, months before she even gets in front of the release review committee. But if Isley's in uh, in um, uh, the asylum. Then how the hell she do this? Yikes! Yee. I look terrible in that picture. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you were looking to make me smile tonight, piling on another case isn't the way to go. Son of a kid pulled a me. <laughs> and he smiled. <laughs> so yeah, he has his way on uh, uh, craft the cave on roof from Bloodhaven. Estimate docking in ten minutes. Heading to Arkham, so can you prep the car and make me a turkey on rye, please? <laughs> and he's eating while he's driving. Driving. Disgusting. He should be turned in. Um, he appeared to have a quite unexceptional citizen who's um who's short of a few speeding tickets. No, wait. There's something here. Two months ago, Adam entered an internship program at Arkham Asylum. Oh, jeez. Look at my house, bro. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, he's made him find I am Pamela. Oh, uh, Jervis Tack on Batman. Get me out of here. Where is she, Harvey? That's our secondary concern, Bats. I was due in court 22 minutes ago. Going to hit Maroney in the face with so many burning questions. Fig uh, fired from my acid tongue. He'll split in half. Oh, and even Joker. But when they make their way there, ooh! You know what I've always liked about you, Batman? I mean, aside from your rock-hard abs and what I'm sure is under not, not as adversarial, but no less aggressive nocturnal conditions, a tireless tongue. You never call me by my slave name, not to my face at least. Why did you kill the intern, Gavin Adams? Hmm? You know what gynexome is in Batman? Well, my gynecotonum is on fire for you right now. How about it, Bass? Want to commune with nature? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, and kill a croc. Ooh. Ew. Hits him with the back of the axe. Don't get up. Yeah, he's making up the smell of cannabis. Oh, then, nice. But then all of a sudden... Uh oh, Etrigan! Yeah. Oh. I, oh my God! Hardly. That just ate half a mul Mulligan's head. Child rapist. If we're to believe there's excuses and eternal and confound cries of "It's not me, I'm sick." 
think and think disease will acquit them from punishment infertile but in the hell wail and paled on all screech i enough there's a lady present i use the term lucy loosely the lady with the sum of green and the lack of regard for those of us dressed as craft potion from herb for my host unseen that helps blood and blood keeps the demon suppressed that explains it Gavin Adams died a bagman ferrying Ivy's toxins to Jason Blood so he can keep his other half organically sedated. The homeopath that you made for Blood will work on the demon. It it only works on humans. I have no I have no quarrel with you, die failer morsel, and garb like a child who's lost all good sense. I just as soon let you be and start my main course, uh, course then not save her for her flavor, because I am battle spent, tempting offer, but no. Uh, eventually, yeah, bit of a fight. Um, ooh, Batman's getting pummeled. And then um, he gets splashed with some holy water by someone. He eventually reverts back to um, Jason Blood, and he looks up and sees a guy wearing a horse helmet. You're good down there and there now? That's a horse. All right. <laughs> uh, done. Holy water from St. Agnes, two blocks over. I'd have been here sooner, but it was hell finding a stew pot in the in rectory kitchen. Pun intended. You're good down there now, Will, right? Of course you are. You're the original badass. Hmm, new guy. The player to be named later. Ooh, look at how pummeled Batman is. Dang, <laughs> why would you do that, Robert? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Um, we then see, open up with another flashback as, you know, this one guy is holding on to a kid as Batman's fighting him on a, um, roller coaster. Oh, no. And drops him, and then he flies, like, damn it, I hate being so predictable. It takes me 15 minutes to get us out of the bay and back to Gordon's hostage response unit on the other side. I hand the girl over to Max and apologize to Jim for losing Funland, promising he'll be embraced by sunset. You mean he'll be processed by sunup. Your backup already cuffed him. My backup? Yeah, guy that did this. You dive after the girl and your man swings in, beats the crap out of the bad guy till the bad guy runs out of bullets. Then he'll he beats him up some more till we manage to stop the ride. That's when I see him. The player to be named later. The mask from last week's Arkham incident. This is the second time he's lent a hand. He's not a glory whore. He doesn't stick around for accolades. And he's proves that he's not a tourist. All costume and no collar. He seems to be committed to the cause. If he's trustworthy, he could be an asset. That said, his disappearing act is getting irksome. Not the most original way to play it. Did somebody say play? That's why I came to Gossam. Another flashback. Dealing with the, um, the toy man. And Superman showing up to help him. I'll clean it up. What happened, Winslow? You take a wrong turn at Albuquerque? Superman? Ah, oh, crap. It's him! It's really him! Sorry about the disturbance, Batman. That was awesome. You tore that robot open like it was a bag of pretzels, sir. Well, only because you wore him down for me, a little shaver. That's why I'm giving you the collar. Here's your man, officer. I stick around for a burger or something, but the robot's packing a low-grade nuke with a timer that kicked in 30 seconds ago. If you'll excuse me, wow, just wow. Take it easy. You sure it's only super bad? You don't trust him, do you? Not completely. Business, Robin. Mind it. Boy, I feel sorry for you. Oh, really? I mean, if you can't even fully trust Superman, how are you ever going to trust anybody? Huh? What'd you say? Goat mask leave a name? Because goat ma man would be too obvious. Not to mention derivative. Wait, are you saying he's not with you? Not yet. You vouch for him or not? I can't answer him. I don't answer him. I can't answer him. He eventually makes it back. Stop being so British and tell me what's on your mind. You have a visitor at six in the morning. She was rather insistent. And it's Silver St. Cloud. You know of her? Bianca? Oh, shoot. Hello. <laughs> I said, do you know of her? Silver St. Cloud? Uh, is she a villain or no, a hero? No, no, no. She's one of the more recognized um, um, love interests. Uh, yeah, love interests. Then the 
Um, but it, yeah, she's been one of the regular ones introduced during Stephen Inglehart's run. She is considered right up there with Talia and Selena. Really? What about but, Vicky Vale or uh, and, yeah. and, Vicky, and Vicky and Vicky? But she's okay. Let me put it this way: you know Talia and loves, Wonder Woman. Okay, but let me finish. <laughs> Talia clearly loves Batman, right? Yes. And um, no, I haven't noticed at all. And um, Selena loves both sides. Sometimes, Silver, depending on how she's written. Right. Silver loves Bruce. And the way I've seen it is like this. I've always had this theory about Batman. There are three sides to Batman. You have Bruce Wayne, the playboy. You have Batman. The Batman. The Batman. <laughs> and then you have Batman in the cave with the cowl off. As in, he's letting Bruce out. And I always feel like I thought he was just hot and musky under there. And so he's like, I don't need it. No, no, no. I'm talking about his personality, the way he acts. Doesn't he act like Batman just without the mask? No, no, no. There are times I'm talking about when he's off the case, not when he's on the case, when he's off the case. Why would he why would he be in the bat cave off the case? And no, 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 no. I'm saying when he's done with the case. But he's in the bat cave. He's like, he's done with the case. He's in the back cave where he can still be himself. And he takes off his mask and everything. In other words, he's not fully Batman, but he's not Playboy Bruce Wayne either. Oh. And I also feel like you have a perfect balance with Batman. You have, it be, you, uh, Batman at his best is when he's a perfect balance of Bruce Wayne and Batman. When he's too much Batman... He's that's when he's the loner, the I'm gonna be brutal and break limbs and everything. When he's way too much the hard ass. When he's, you know, uh-huh. played another asshole. But, and this is something that's shown in this book, when Bruce Wayne is too much in charge, he's not as observant. He's way too trustworthy. He's more likely to make foolish mistakes he never would make. I can definitely see that. All right, and that's what Silver's gonna be doing throughout all this. So, yeah, they basically, she's reuniting with him, and she reveals that her husband had died. And this is where we get a reminder of things that had happened, um, you know, in the prior stories, um, both their original run and the Strange Apparition uh, miniseries. But here we are, we are years later, older and wiser, and needlessly lonely. I honestly didn't know what to do, man, Bruce. I couldn't be myself without, oh, wait, wait. She tells me how difficult it's been to play the role of Senator Evan Gregory's grieving widow, especially since they never made it legal. Out of respect for her legacy, Silver hasn't resumed her former role as permanent social fixture. No parties, no dinners, no dating. She says she can't remember the last time she felt like herself. And he's like, I honestly didn't know what to do, Bruce. I couldn't be myself without offending everyone who loved Evan, but I was losing my identity. That's when I saw the view. Oh, that's not true. I've always thought of you. I always think of you. I, o- I, I hope, not always, for Gregory's sake. You're not following, Dee Dee. That's a nickname. When he died, <laughs> I hadn't been with Evan since before the accident. You're the last man I was with. Silver, I, I wasn't your last. I know. I can either sulk it about it or try to catch up. One sounds a lot more fun, doesn't it? They talk a bit and they head on off. We then meet Cornelius Sturge, a cannibal who's able to kind of telepathically transmit images of what people want to see. Oh. Ew. Him projecting silver into him to throw Batman off. Beats the head out of, the heck out of him. And for a moment, then you think the new guy shows up, but he's knocked down by Sturge, who's, who seems to have gotten the... Um, the upper hand on him. Ooh, nice legs. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's all tied up by Sturge, and then Tim shows up. Tim? Yep. The boy makes short work of Sturk. At least one of us is on our game. Next time, just let me know you're going to go uh, where you're going, is all I'm saying. Alfred knew I was going after Stark. Alfred doesn't do wet work. I do. 
You tell me when you're going after someone like Stark, you hear me? Yes, Dad. Did you just make a joke? A small one. I see. So, Albert said a girl came over this morning. Anyone I? No one you know. Albert said she calls you Dee Dee. What's that all about? Business, Robin. Mind it. Did you guys, you know, if I was interested in smutty innuendo, I'd partner up with E.O. O'Brien. Fair enough. But if you have any questions and since the feelings uh, about the feelings you're having or just questions about girls in general, you can always come and ask me. K-Sports, Alfred and his big mouse. They meet up with Silver, <laughs> and the two are having a good bit, a good time and everything. Although, here's a case where the art's a little wonky because look at her legs there. That seems accurate to me. Not when we see her everywhere else. They're not that thick. Oh, uh, I see that. <laughs> I see what you mean now. Yeah, it looks like, what the? Woo, that's hot. <laughs> uh, gives me uh, Shrek vibes. <laughs> Spider-Man? Oh, my no, gosh. No, no. Then the moment passes. I does come back at the manor. By now, I fall back in the dirt. Personal life will always come second to a promise I made a lifetime ago. I vow to wage a war on crime, and this war is endless. Someone called the NHL. The rookie's got a hat trick. You local? I am now, but I'm not Gossip Native. Sorry to say. Then why Gossip? Oh, that, that guy's the Black Spider, by the way. Okay, I was drained this moment. I never meant to crowd you, uh, you or step on your toes. This is your city. I get that. But I just thought that, I don't know. Even the Batman can be every corner of the city at once. I get around. This is a fight that can always use more soldiers. Got a good knack for backup. Backup? Ha! You're about the only guy on the planet I take that from, you being the legend and all. But I'm not looking for charity. I'm good at what I do. If I had any doubt about that, I would have sacked up and um, finally talked to you. So I'm feeling confident in telling you that. If I'm getting involved, I got to know I'm bringing something new to the uh, to this thing. And I prom promise you, I'm bringing something new. He's cocky. They always are the first year out. Still, he shows proper amount of respect. A Belgian crossbow pistol, circa 1900. Rare. You're familiar with the Huntress? I know, but I figure more than one mask can rock a crossbow, right? She any good? At all, or just her crossbow skill? A crossbow. Both, I guess. She could be rash. And deadly with that crossbow of hers. You ever use that to take a life? I'll hunt you down. Killing is their way, not ours. Sir, yes, sir have a name i'm calling myself bamfit but i've never but i've never said it to anyone out loud yet you're my first little obvious bamfit the sabbat and the sabbatic goat it smacks of villainy i wanted something that scared the pants off a sociopath this rig and this rig seemed creepy enough to do the job i mean if i ever saw me and i'd never seen me before i'd literally try to kill myself before i got to and got to me you know like, don't kill me. I'll kill myself, I promise. You're not uh -huh. a stoner, are you? No, sir, just very, very nervous. I guess my I guess it's my outfit. I just figured what's more unnerving was that name was this get up. You know, except yours, of course. Which I mean as a compliment, I swear. The name's a bit a bit much, but this one could be an asset. Um bye. And of course during the daytime he's spending all of his time with silver. Again, this is why Bruce is starting to come out more. And then goes back to Arkham, like he spent days, the day was silver, night was Arkham. Days, nights, days, Harley! Oh my gosh! Here, there. All the while, silver is almost heroically accommodating. Who's Dee Dee? What are you doing here? Me? What are you doing here? When I picked up your biosignature in the ocean, I nearly busted a lung getting here. Because, well, you're hardly ever in the ocean. Wait, you're not wearing a costume. Are you escaping or something? Is that why you're in the ocean like this? Was it the fishermen? I'm just swimming. Like what? And like what? Like for fun? Something I can do for you, Ar and Ar Arthur? No, I'm just glad you're all right. Really, they told me and, and there'd be yelling and screaming, so I was expecting the worst. Who told you there was yelling and screaming? The dolphins. They said a woman was screaming, Dee Dee. So I saw John D, Dr. Destiny. And then I was like, Dr. Destiny couldn't swim in that costume. So who's Dee Dee? I'm Dee Dee. It's what my companion calls me. Robin calls you Dee Dee. My girl <laughs> calls me Dee Dee. All right, Arthur. 
Girlfriend? Really? What does that mean? Well, come on, Bruce. I know you keep up the Playboy image, but in our world, I don't even, I, I don't think I've ever seen you even hug someone. Bye, uh, sir. Hey, who's the lady? It's not Diana, is it? Young My man. guy. Hey. Oh, so that rope is not a plaything. Goodbye, Arthur. Greetings, Junior uh, Justice League. We see the Titans fighting off against Black Manta. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this this looks like oh my! It, I want this as an opening or an ending for a movie. <laughs> that scene right there. <laughs> I know, isn't that awesome? Oh, oh my god! I want to have moments like this put in. Oh, who got stabbed? Um, Aqualad. No, by who? Ocean Master. Oh, that's why he's saying Orm. Yep. But yep. I was facing Black Manta for a second. I'm like, what the heck? Hey, look who's up in dress. Does mean we have to go back? We don't have to go. Only one of us feels compelled to break up my party, Mr. OCD. That And that's the only way I can do this, at least for now. Please understand that. Maybe one day there'll be a night for us. When I'm not, there doesn't have to be, Bruce. I'm okay with that. I don't need anything more than what you can give me now. I was just grinding your gears. Adoy! I'll grind your gears, Eris. Oh, you son of a... You ever call me that again? I'll go on Jack Ryder's show and tell the whole world what you do at night, Dracula. Hey, you know what a narwhal is? Yeah, you better change... Yeah, you better change the subject. A narwhal is that unicorn dolphin thing that never leaves freezing cold water. See, that's what I thought. So the ghoul's got a girlfriend. Great. Now I gotta call Ollie and tell him John just won the pool. Ha! <laughs> what do you I, think about this so far? It's, it's, I didn't expect it. It's like, uh, for the first issue, I felt like that was already four issues. And then <laughs> for this one, I'm like, why are we having fun? Is this weird? Am I allowed to have fun? Well, that's the funny thing is, though. The whole point of it was, this was supposed to be two separate minis. First half was supposed to build up Batman. And then at the end, it's going to end very tragic. And then it was supposed to lead to a darker second half. But we still haven't got that second half. Even darker second half? Darker than the first issue? Yeah! Is this Dang. your card? Oh, uh, uh, Crazy Quilt! Yee! Oh, I thought it was gonna be Polka Dot Man. Nope, Crazy Quilt. The heck? Risk that looks... Moss. Basically, they looks... feel like um, everyone thought they were a real hoot until the Joker started killing people. Then soon the ideas are catching on. Even there's Polka Dot Man. Oh. One of the, one of the mo most of the one trick ponies didn't make the transition to capital offense. Crazy Quilt is a remnant of the bygone era who resurfaces every few years in an effort to be taken seriously. Oh. And then Bamford takes him down. Why everybody got long hair here? It doesn't uh, match Walt, him. It's how Walt wanted to draw and draw him. Everybody, though? I know. Oh, and he takes off the mask, saying, comparing fighting crime to being as good as sex. He took off his mask. It's too soon. I'll tell you, if I hadn't, if I hadn't already established myself with this mask, I'd swap it for something a lot lighter. Maybe I could just carve an opening for my mouse, like you do. So, and what's the time limit on costume court and courtship? Do you switch it every year or just after every cataclysm? Um, uh -huh. Batman, I'm nowhere near ready for that level of commitment, as in seeing him without his mask. And it meets up with um with Silver again. So wait, am I reading this right? You just left him alone on the rooftop? It's not a big deal. I do it to everyone. So then what was the big deal? He took his mask off, Silver. And I'm just it's just not done like that, especially that soon. I've known Superman for a year, and I still don't take my mask off in front of him. Okay, but that's you. That's how you do things. Obviously, this ghost mask guy, Bamfit. Obviously, this Bamfit doesn't have one of the ten most recognizable faces in the world, like some crime fighters I know. Fair enough. But I still can't believe he took his mask off. You know what? I can't believe we went from swimming naked in the tropics every day to hanging around this hall on the ground. 
I'm not the kind of girl who sits around her boyfriend's garage while he tunes up his muscle car, car Wayne. Why can't, and why can't we go back to the island again? The island was compromised, meaning we weren't as alone as we thought. How so? The dolphin heard us having sex and told Aquaman. You lie. Kinda. Kinda? The dolphins only heard you. Okay, so we're insiders for a while. Insiders? Yeah, kind of, instead of outsiders. Again, good. I like these flashbacks. I love them. Oh, here he's in his old costume. Yep, Nightwing. Yee. Yep, and but then there's a little bit of them arguing a bit. Oh, plus I kind of wanted to poach Katana for the the Titans. I'm sure that'll go over well with your lady friend, the one from the warrior race. Did I already tell you her people evolved from cats? Yes. Cats, how cool is that? Hmm? I said, you. It's, I know, they're just, yeah, talking a bit. Uh... <laughs> how old is she? Because she looks like she's drawn much younger. I think she's supposed to be in her, uh, about the same age as Bruce. Really? Yeah. She looks like she's in her late I think, I think, 20s. In this, in this case, I think it's because her hair's up like this. No, I've been wondering that for a while since uh, since the far- first start of the set. She's this is the second issue, natural, right? Natural, useful beauty. Oh, just like my mom. Uh, hi, have we met? I'm Batman. You know what I mean. <clears throat> Apparently not. I really thought you were going to uh, follow. Can I be honest with you with something like, you're such an amazing kisser, Bruce. What would you have said if I did? That I've had a lot of practice? Jerk. Hey, you could have taken me off the market years ago. <laughs> Double jerk. And for and just for that, tomorrow's a no cave day. You are now required to take me someplace fun. Okay. That face is so realistic. It's <laughs> <laughs> like jerk. double jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Up and kicking a bunch more buttons. Then there's oh, oh her nineties costume. No, no, her sixties. Dang it, her sixties. You're right. Like, hi. Sorry. Don't worry. I didn't commit a crime. I own this place, so legally, I'm only guilty of setting off my own alarms. I just figured this would be the best way to get you alone for a minute, so I can ask you about your girlfriend. What are you? I get it. Nobody's supposed to know. I don't think anybody does, but I do. Woman's intuition, I guess. Plus, I followed you to her private airstrip a few weeks back. I know, the two are still talking out and showing they're still having something, and eventually, Bruce... Are you in love? Oop. Ooh. I shoot Dang myself it, Bruce. in the foot. Yeah. Dang it, Bruce. Wait. Can I see that again? The, uh, the one before that one. Yep. Oh, before that? That looks pretty good. Bill Sankowitz is artwork. Oh. Yeah, you're the guy that Comets Gate hates. Oh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Freeze. Ooh. I don't do funny. Oh, Bam Bam, it takes him down. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. The suit is okay. The suit is okay looking. Uh, but I'm really hoping he makes it. Oh, he does. For this entire issues. <laughs> Um, no, he was I'm so good gonna, looking not, under the mask. I'm not gonna say a word, but eventually, um, yeah, as he's talking with um, um, Bruce and Silver went on out into um, you know, to the mountains, they're handling it all, and then much like it, he then takes off his mask, which even Tim felt was really weird. He needs a crash course in secret identity etiquette, but other than that, he's ideal. Name's a little much, so smacks of villainy. Also, I think someone's looking for you. Someone? It was midway through my shift. Kind of creeped me out a little, actually. Selena, in other words. Oh. So, uh, uh, was there trouble back home? I heard you talking to someone. There was an incident. It's been handled. No casualties, no critical injuries. And and waiting on that call, though, that's what's been keeping you awake. That and the fact that I'm usually never in bed at this time. You can go back to Gotham. Is that's not what I'm saying. It was just an experiment. We don't have to spend a night anywhere but Gotham ever again. No, I'm okay with being here. I'm just shocked at how not okay I am with not being there. 
I always imagine I'd be chasing a joke in the rest of them when I was 50 or 60. But lately, I'm not saying I could ever stop completely. But maybe a few nights a week, I could, we could. Hey, I'll take you anytime I can get you, emo boy. Because I like having my bats in my belfry. Come here, you pot, potty mouse thing. <laughs> Quit manhandling me, you masher. What do I look like to you? Catwoman? And now she's in the 66 outfit. Okay, here, on, on, let me go back. Right, a bag boy Did to look me. at her butt? I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know. No, 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 no. A bag boy called me a cougar today. A cougar? Me? Can you believe it? At my age, I could have killed him. I mean, a puma made me. Whatever. I left sex kitten behind a long time ago is all I'm saying. Okay, here's what you're supposed to say. No, no, no. So, oh, you're still a sex kitten, Selena. You look stunning for a woman of 26, let alone your real age, which I know. You do not. I've been called the world's greatest detective. Oh, you smug little bastard. I didn't ask for the title, and I can't help if it fit, if it applies. That's not the only world's greatest title you've held, you hold, masked man. What do you say, Bruce? You, uh, you'll never pet a more welcoming cat. Selena, stop. What? You, and you'd rather be in bed, right? All this pitching crap up here is pretty nasty. No, you and I need to. Damn, Lucky, I've got to. What now? Maybe Robin cover you. Or I can, um, oh, gee, it swings off. Did I mention I'm not wearing any panties? <laughs> so they're 26. No, no, no. Let alone your real age, which I know. Oh, which not, dang. Which older than that. Oh, oh, it's that thing people do. Yeah. It's the, um, oh, well, which, what the Joker mean? got out and started doing an attack, swapped some people's head, you know, some of the inmates' heads. And That's then kind of boring. Comes in and takes him down. He single handedly took down the Joker. He may be ready. They later follows him to where he is. Sometimes I hate who I have to be, but I live in a world flip flopping loyalties, costume terrorism, and mind controlling alien starfish. Trust is a luxury I can't afford. All right, what do you want to know? Let's see. I've got a wife and two kids, boy and girl. I'm an insurance adjuster from Delaware. Moved to Gotham just before our first was born. I lost my brother, my brother, the mass crime in the city when he was killed. I knew there was no going back to, to sleep for me. All I'm trying to do out there, there is um, out there is to make it safe for decent people again. Even I have to do it with my fist. I guess I just wanted to make it so nobody felt that kind of hurt ever again. The kind of hurt I feel when Jerry got killed. Because he was he was just so... Why, damn it! Why'd they have to kill my baby brother? I want to tell him I know how it feels. I want Aww. to tell him a lot of things. But not tonight. Tonight, I simply extend him some courtesy, the same courtesy he's shown Gossam. And this is the last issue, and it's a double-sized. Ooh! I dropped my chicken. <laughs> so they're flying in and they're um, flying in as they take it to um, Superman's uh, fortress um, once they're there then um, he's taking him through he's taking, him, uh, he's taking her through um, this alien area and they show this type of um, flower, a dream of silver the only one in existence and even though I can't leave the fortress Arboretum, it's yours Yep. I don't even have words. And then they transport in a very Star Trek transport. Can we <laughs> do that again? The reason why they're up there? Oh, I like. So then I might as well return this uh, this other thing I want to give you. I mean, what the heck? It's not like I was married to the idea. I love you, Silver, so much. You've given me a piece I haven't felt since I was a kid. But more than that, you fascinate me. You always have. You always will. You've been friend and more for almost 10 years. And all I want to do now is spend the next 50 getting to know you better. Silver St. Cloud, I'm begging you. Please let me be your husband. For oh a moment. Gosh. Yep. And then when they're down, like, for once, can you try to me not so needy, Didi? You did not just say Didi. I apologize profusely, madam. I thought it was just your pet name for Master Bruce. Do not tell him, Silver. I won't. I'm totally telling him and telling you it's short for a double digit. I see. No, wait, I don't see it at all. 
it's a reference to the first night we got together. We hit double digits. Oh, dear God. I raised him to respect women. Truly, I did. Then he did a great job. Because, wow, he showed me a lot of respect that night. Eleven times. He's easy, obsessive compulsive when it comes to that. Wait. So, when she says double digits, do they Climaxes! On one night? Mm-hmm. Oh, That's wow. Right that's why I marry him, Alfred. I blame myself. That one winter break when he was home from school, young Master Wayne snuck a rather free-spirited girl into the manor. He was only 15. She was a pre-med in Gotham State. Let me guess, that slutty pre-med chick who tried to seduce my future boyfriend grew up to be poison ivy. Worse. Now, what he's about to say is a joke, okay? Some people took it literally. The penguin. And why we're having the importance of a healthy diet, there's a chance I may be bringing a colleague home for breakfast. So I'd like you to sleep at your place tonight, strictly as a precautionary measure. Uh, Mr. Sirius is black, uh, is back. What a coincidence. So is Miss Whiny. And, I'm, and, when I, and when I'm not 100% on this guy, I'm happy to have you meet him. Until then, please, just do what I ask. Oh, stop being bat whiner. Just give me my, and kiss me goodbye already. But when he's hanging out, he didn't realize it's like, it's almost like she was made for me. And made, and made for me. Or made for me. He then drives in, tack, and slams into the car, pulls her, rips, and takes a hair and scans it. He thinks she's one of a, um, one of, um, cre a creation of, um. Like Clayface? No, Ivo. Ivo's robots. What the hell was that all about? What the hell are you doing, Bruce? I... I thought you might be one of Ivo's robots. A robot? I'll never be normal, will I? Don't say that, Bruce. It's going to be okay. I understand. The next thing you know, she is one. I'm just kidding. Uh, it'd, be, be it'd be great it was. Nope. Uh, you are, but not because of this. You've been relying on cold logic and strategy since you were a child. You live in a world where trust can't exist, where love makes less sense than it usually does. I know I, I was never part of the plan. But when you made me and made that plan when you were just a kid, Bruce, can you really hold yourself responsible now as an adult for a vow you made back when you were just a heartbroken little boy? I know that sometimes this is going to be a hard transition for you to make, and you'll have moments like this again when you're all training, all of your instincts tell you I'm out to hurt you or something, but I swear to you, I'm never going to hurt you. I'll be I'll always be your shelter, Bruce. I'm never going to be the one who betrays you. Never, Silver. Baby, we'll have plenty of time to do this in the morning. But you know, if I make if I make you stand here all night talking about this, someone out there is going to get hurt by some jackass dressed like a vampire or a giant carrot or something. What I'll do instead is have Alfred make me a and take me back to your place. I'll sleep in your room tonight. That way, as soon as you get home, you can crawl into bed with me, and I'll hold you so tight in my arms you'll feel like uh, you'll feel safe for a change. Promise. Besides, I need to get used to your room, because it's going to be my room, too. That was the moment I knew, really knew that one day, not this year, probably not the next, but one day, I will stop all this, and it'll be because of her. So, yeah, I, and maybe him. Drink! Wooden mask. I have, uh, they help her out, give him some place to help, um, you know, give testimony and all that. And I, you won't see us, but we'll be here. I promise. You're good with people. I scare and I scare them. At first, sure, but you make up for it by being a calm voice that knows what to do in the middle of the worst moments of their lives. I don't have that. It'll come with time. I don't know. Give them something more. That trust somebody and that trust somebody for once. My first year of doing this, I went uh, after the court and they city's worst mobsters the one in bed with the most of the and of and most of the police department this is the moment from year one it was my first big pyro gag uh, i i killed the lights plastic and I mean, plastic the dining room wall to hell and hit him with something like you're done eating the city alive ladies and gentlemen you have eaten well you've eaten gossam's wealth its spirit your feast is nearly over from this moment on none of you is safe but what none of them knew was that the incendiary went off hotter than I expected. And when I felt the side of the explosion, the sudden blast of searing heat, well, I had a bladder spasm. 
No, you're saying you wet your pants. My point is nobody starts off as an expert at this. You learn through trial and error. I appreciate the tip. I know I'm still wet behind the ears. Very <laughs> D- didn't mean don't mean to piss you off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. So yeah, oh, I love game. that. And then there's Deadshot fighting against Catwoman who's in her Darwin Cook outfit. Why she keep changing outfits? <laughs> well, we find out in a moment. But yeah, but um, yeah, they stopped Deadshot, and then I'm um, saying I hired him. I know, I know. This isn't a game. Someone could have gotten hurt. I'm sorry, but you won't return my calls. You won't see me. A word, please. Who's the goat guy? Nice outfit. You're getting married later this year. But that night when we... I'm sorry. That was my fault. Your fault? You say that like it was something wrong. What happened? It wasn't right. Sure, now it's not right. Now that you and the other trust fund baby and baby are going to merge. Sorry, Mary? Selena, bastard! Whoa, hey, whoa, right? I've, I, I'll bet you never even pulled on a mask for you. But me, I wore two of my dumbest costumes for you, too, jerk. Let me guess. You need a hug. I need a hug. Because <laughs> <laughs> they, they eventually stop Calendar Man, and then later, it's all with due respect. You bust your, and you bust your ass putting him away. And they always get out and cause more trouble. Then you put them away again. They get out again. Your point. Some of the, 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 these animals should be. Now, this is the point where Bruce is too trusting. You're going to see. These animals should be put down for good. There's never. That's never an option. No matter how frustrating it gets. Frustrating is not the word. That flat out. And that flat, flat out haunt me, man. Think about all the lives you could have saved. And the one you can still. The ones you still can save. If you snap the Joker's neck. I have thought about it. Last year, the Joker had been stabbed by, uh, in the heart by another whack job. If I had gone after the assailant instead of getting the Joker to the hospital, those six people who died in the canal district last week would still be alive. Exactly. So if he's dead, then he'd be gone for good and Gotham finally be saved. Damn straight from just him. Then there'd be the rest of the rogues to deal with. All of them joke jockeying to fill the void he'd leave. The post-Joker violence and terrorism would tear the city apart. And any time the job got too hard for me, I'd think about taking the easy way again, like they do. I'm happy to report I puked in your trunk. <laughs> Take him in there. They, um, Bampin and looks at Joker, who smiles at him. Joker knows something. He'd been taking off his mask too many times. Where, where are we going? The city's back. Look out! Mm. We call it the Bat Cave. Hello, honey, come join us. This is my fiance. Hi. <laughs> May I have a name? Pleasure, ma'am. You make everyone in your organization wear a cape. This is what's her makeshift, very makeshift. Was 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 of trying to protect my identity in case we hadn't gotten that far, gotten that far until we're formally introduced. Hi, my name's Bruce Wade. Well, I'll be damned. And while, and while she's my fiance, she's also Silver St. Cloud. Hi again. Wow, you're famous too. Now that the theatrics are out of the way, how about we head upstairs? We can talk over breakfast in the kitchen like normal people. What's Alfred making? Eggs Benedict with salmon. Salmon. Eggs Benedict and with salmon. I like the sound of that. Ka-clank. Ka-clank. What? <laughs> it was onomatopoeia the whole time, and he kills Silver. And that was the end cliffhanger. I'm, it, wait. All this time. And in fact, it was hinted in, in, issue, in the last issue. Let me go back to it. Because remember at the end of Cacophony, right? The house that he went into? Yeah. Hold on, let me get there. Come on, come on. Oh, see? What am I looking at? The house. Yeah, what about it? It's the exact same house. As? From the end of Cacophony. Hold on, 
let me show you that again. Hold on, come on, come on. Oh, much faster. That's the same house? Yes, it is. It doesn't look the same. It looks so run down. Tree is it's raining. Uh, can I go back one more time? What? That, this one has a gated fence. The other one doesn't have a gated fence. No, there it is. The, a huge gated fence. No, 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 we're at a distance. He's at the tree in the back. So we're across the street from it. There is no street on the other one, is there? Uh, we could tell. Wait, wait, no. Remember, it's a neighborhood. So you have houses on one side, you have houses on the other. Yeah, but the other one's not like that. You see a road right there where the car is no, parked. So no, there's a different no, dif no, distance. No, no. no. That's him leaving and walking over there. We don't see what's on the opposite end. No, I'm looking at the second panel. I know. And, and I know, but we're not seeing the back end as far. We're not as far back as Bruce is. So this is the back end? No, no, no. We're across, Bruce is across the street. The opposite end of the street. So he's talking to Onomatopoeia this entire time? Yes. Onomatopoeia was putting on an act this whole time. How did Batman get the wrong person? No, he never knew who Onomatopoeia really was. And Onomatopoeia, and remember, like I said, and Batman and, and Silver was com unintentionally compromised Batman by having Bruce be too much in charge. So oh, yeah. does this guy have like bipolar disorder? Or? No, no. He just was that good at putting on an act. So the guy who said no, who was that? Oh, that was Batman who said no. Oh, shoot. Like it was because of the red stuff. <laughs> and yeah, the next 12 issue was supposed to be Batman unhinged, completely unhinged. What an idiot. Guys, like, let me show you my fiance, and I'm like, no, you don't freaking do that. That's what I said. Bruce was way too much in the driver's seat. Basically, That's this retarded. was Bruce. But hey, you gotta give props to Anamanapia, right? I will. I will give props. I will applaud him. He's so, extremely clever. So that's it until we ever get the um the follow up. So what did you think? That was amazing. Yep. Um, but probably some of kept, now the the bladder spasm aside. I gotta say, I really do love the writing in this. I do. I, mean, I do as well. People bash he just it told the villain he peed his pants. <laughs> yeah, but people bash it because they feel it taints year one, and I think yeah, you didn't have to do that, Kevin. But that aside, the rest of the writing's fine. People say Bruce, Batman's out of character again. It's because Silver's bringing too much of Bruce out. Yeah, he's, um, and that's also, that's honestly, like, Bruce's problem. He swings way too fast to one way when he gets too complacent. Exactly. He either becomes too much the oop. That's why I said Batman is a perfect balance between Bruce and Batman. Bruce is what makes him still be understanding, trusting, and respectful and <coughs> show restraint. Batman is when he's the hard ass and wanting to take names and kick ass and all that. But if they have a perfect balance, it's when things are even. But again, too much of Batman. He's breaking bones. He's a loner. He doesn't trust anyone. He's paranoid. But too much Bruce, and he's too trusting. He's too soft. He's too, you know. So Anamanapia can talk. Yes, he can talk. We just never saw him talk. That's why Batman... When he did the sound effects, that's what tells me he does a perfect emulation of the sound effects. So Batman never even knew what his voice sounded like. Wait a minute. Didn't I ask you if he actually spoke before I and you told me no? I, I said as onomatopoeia, he never spoke. Oh, you little punk. That's uh, not, I, never said, I never said as Bamfit. What the heck? 
But yeah, now Kevin Smith has still said he's still working. It's still not done yet. <clears throat> he's doing it every time he gets focused on it. But I want to see how this ever gets wrapped up. I do too. This is very interesting. But it's such a crappy cr- cliffhanger. Uh don't worry, it's not fatal. She'll she'll just just no. give her an IV. <laughs> well, here's the other thing though. This was originally this was all done before New 52. Then when New 52 happened, um Kevin had said, I get the right pre uh, pre New 52 Batman. So I since I don't have to worry about continuity anymore, I'm able to do free reign if I want. What the heck? Pre New 52? That's when this book came that's when the book came out was. It was what the pre- frick? You have all this time and you still didn't finish. No, he has not. Even to this day, he's so, he's so busy with other projects. Or he's too busy getting high. It's a comic book. You just finished within that year. Uh, look at what happened the last time he finished. He, he did that with a comic book and just got it finished. Which one was that? Um, Spider-Man Black Cat. Listen, finish is finished, okay? I like the yeah. last three. But it's not as good as the first three. Nah, it's better. What? Yeah. You said you liked the first three. It was okay. I don't remember saying I liked the first three. I had a complications with the first three. I said I liked the last three. And you said, yeah, but you would read, the, uh, if you were to get them separately, you would get the first three, right? And I said, no, the last three. <sighs> I even explained it too. I said I just liked the You're more serious. You're changing your mind just to tick me off, aren't no, you? No, no. I liked the last three. I didn't like the comedicness with Black Cat and Spider Man. To me, it what just wasn't hitting. It wasn't there. I didn't like how they like were forcing a relationship between him and Black Cat when he's married. I don't like that. They didn't, um, didn't force it. She was being playful. They kissed and he and he was like no no i have no problem with it it's just that nobody frenched me uh with the mask well, before yeah, and i'm like yeah, well, well, no you should have a problem because you're married and she kissed you anyway fair enough fair enough fair enough but yeah but with this though i mean you feel bad for for them killing for silver's death don't you i guess I mean, I'm sad about it. <laughs> I'm not sad for Batman. I'm sad for her. Right, right, right. But um, but what do you think about Anamapia's big um master plan? That was pretty smart. And what, but okay, which did you like better, Winding Gyre or Cacapity? What's the first one called again? Cacapony. Decapony. No, no, cacap. Cacapony. Cacapony. <laughs> what does that even mean? Uh, let me look. Because they were saying about naming. It, it, it having means meaning. a harsh, discordant mixture of sound. Bruh. Was that. Wait, was that one of the names he wanted to pick? What do you mean? No, wait, what was the second one? What was the second choice? Why, widening Gyre is the second mini. Ah, oh. to cacap and cacap, and then widening gyre. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ah, oh, mm. widening gyre. Oh, really? You like Screw that one? Cat woman. <laughs> <laughs> I think he really. I think he does understand a version of Batman. Now, is this Batman perfect? No, definitely not. He got the monologues down. Oh, he does. But I would, but again, I, I do excuse, like I said, because Batman was compromised. Yeah, I can definitely see what the problems people would have with this comic. But like, as you said, he was letting the Bruce out way too much, which is the trusting part. Yeah, exactly. But um, I'm hoping Kevin Smith, because he just started, um, he's launching a Dark Horse comic line. Uh, no, I, finish your I, Batman first. I was about to say. Dark Horse comic? What kind of Dark Horse comic? I, I do not know. Oh, it wasn't stated yet? But, um, um, but yeah, I think that he's going to be too distracted now. 
like he wasn't before. It, this is from pre New Fifty Two. I know this was in twenty ten. That was like ten years ago. Yep, over ten years ago. Yep, and he's been just so busy. Dang it, man! Stop taking projects. I, <laughs> I can't say that. But yeah, but anyway, um, the ne- the third one's what they call Batman Bellicosity. That sounds like belly to me. And then <laughs> I think an, of it's, food. An incl- it's an inclination to fight or quarrel. It's what the oh. name the word means. I like these titles. Yeah, wh- I know, I do too. But but yeah, overall, though, I mean, aside from me doing Bionic Man, which I'll probably do with my friend Eric, that's pretty much all the Kevin and oh, and Batman sixty six. Green Hornet. That's pretty much all the Batman and the Kevin Smith's books I have. Wow. He hasn't made that much. <laughs> no, no. He's actually made quite a bit more. I just said that's all that I have. Uh, did he do He-Man? No. That's Except funny. He, he plotted the He-Man pre, um, Revelations prequel comics, but he did not write them. Oh, shoot. I think I, I think I got it sent to me. I should check my mail. All right, but um, but overall, though, would you say this is probably the best you of his work that we've gone over? Yes, definitely. To me, it beats Green Hornet. Uh, it beats uh, Batman. Green Arrow. Definitely, the uh, other Spider-Man. person wrote him better. Uh, um, okay, here's another question: What did you think about the stuff with Batman and Joker? Do you think Joker was too kinky, or do you think he actually felt right? I mean, this dude was like, I'm going to deca- like do something to I mean, his corpse in a sexual way. And I'm like, okay, that's a bit too far. Yeah, but other than that, though, I did like that bit, Deanna Cacaffany, where he's like, he's so doped up on antipsychotics that he's actually sane for once. And he finally says, like, I do want to kill you. And basically, Kevin Smith is then utilizing jo- uh, going sane, which was a story where Batman, where Joker believed Batman had died. And then he snapped and he actually went sane until Batman popped back up again. <laughs> it's a choice. But yeah. So that's all we got in this lesson. Next one will be our my 50s lesson. Still trying to figure out uh, how to do that. And I'm hoping I can get Tristan on. If not, I'll figure something out. Aha. We'll get her on, even if I force her to. <laughs> eh, it, well, if she's too busy with work, I'm not going to force her. No, we're gonna force her. So we're gonna tie her up. You get the bleach. I'll get the Clorox. <laughs> bleach. Uh, well, you'll get the rope. I'll get the chair. I'll get the one with the lumbar support, so she's not uncomfortable. Okay, she's uh, gonna watch this video. You know. <laughs> Please don't go there. <laughs> I, oh, I'm totally going there, right? <laughs> Make sure we got lots of buckets. What are you talking about? I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> to be honest, I barely know you anyway. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We'll see you all on the next one. Take care. Bye.